what's up you guys my name is laura welcome to my beauty channel it's my first video so what i like to do is instead of just having you guys watch me put on my makeup what i like to do is add in some um you know just like some dialogue if you guys hear noise in the background during this video i'm sorry my husband and his friend are um doing some work in our basement but they have been working on our basement for a while now and uh, so if you hear some noise i'm i'm sorry just just ignore it if you guys want to know how i got this look keep watching let's get started first i'm gonna put my hair behind my ears to start off i'm gonna put the elf poreless face primer I got this at walmart and this just smooths out the appearance of any fine lines or pores and uh, with the foundation that goes on top it's just gonna glide over you're gonna take a damp beauty blender and the foundation that I'm going to be using is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. So this one is a two-in-one foundation and concealer. I am color natural. So it's your damp beauty blender. And just put that bad boy all up in there. Okay, so fun fact number one. So we're going to be doing scared shitless 103, what? 1003 fun facts that will scare the shit out of you. They're not all that scary. I read this book already. So fun fact number one. So I'm doing Elvis Presley. Elvis was nominated 14 times for a Grammy Award, but only won three, all for gospel recordings. Wow, that does scare the shit out of me. Fun fact number three, Elvis got a C in music in eighth grade and was told by the teacher that he had no singing talent. That's really awkward, Jim. Elvis Presley went on to be one of the most iconic, influential country singers of all time. At that time, it was rock. I'm gonna get a whole lot of people saying, I'm Zach Mc no. I'm, I'm I you're probably right this it's a fact in the book guys I've already worn this foundation I like it on camera it looks fine I do think maybe it's not the right shade no it's the right shade I just find it comes off a little orangey so this might be my perfect color in the summer when I tan I can't tan it's not a good time I get hurt I stand in the shade and I get hurt this fun fact not in the book. I was in Cuba with my uh, family a few years ago and I was in the shade the whole time. SPF 75, everyone was tanning well. Everyone was telling me, be careful, it's hot. Put some sunscreen on and they're putting tanning oil. And I'm like, gotcha, Jim. Not my first rodeo. Little did I know, it must have been my first rodeo because I got second degree burns all along the side of my face, here, on my shoulder blade. It was a really good time. Did I look tan after? No. I'm going to start with our eyes. I keep looking here. I am so sorry. I'm gonna... This is where the magic happens. Uh, I'm not gonna finish with my face. I want to start with my eyes. What I took for that toasted exterior... I could say that. Is, so I'm gonna be working with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This one is, it's out, it's been out for a while, but you, I'm sure you could still find it at like Sephora's or Ulta's or sometimes at Marshall's. So I'm gonna take the color Puree. It's a really nice, warm, toasty brown. And I'm just, I'm just gonna get right in there. So I'm taking, this is from BH Cosmetics. There's, they don't have names. Remember BH Cosmetics, guys? That was a good time. I still have my BH palettes. I love them. You see, it's already building up. I love this palette. It picks up color great. It's, this brush is great, but it just, it blends so nicely. All right, fun fact number 24. So this is our fun fact number three, but in the book it says fun fact 24. When Elvis, when Elvis's 1953 song, That's All Right, became popular in the Memphis radios, listeners thought he was black. I don't get it. Okay, this is a, this actually is a fun fact. So you know that like when he would shake his leg, that was that's iconic. You know that like that, not that hip twisting thing. Like when he sh shakes his leg on stage and whatever. Apparently that his trademark leg leg shaking uh, was due to his nervousness, and it was kind of like his way to mellow himself out. That is a fun fact. It's like apparently I I heard this somewhere, guys. I am a child of the internet, so I obviously heard this through the grapevine. So apparently Samuel Jackson, <laughs> I don't know how he got from Elvis to Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson apparently, you know how he says mother effer all the time in all of his movies? Apparently, now I don't know, someone's gonna have to fact check me. And don't get all like, <laughs> no, just say like, oh hey, I found information proving otherwise. 
let's not be sassy sallies so apparently he would always say like that swear word because it was like a type of like a tick i don't know if it was tourette that i'm not sure but i do know it was a type of tick i do know no i didn't have this conversation with him and he confirmed yeah it was a tick but from what i read yeah it was kind of like a tick it was a nervous thing as well where he would just swear i feel him when i'm nervous i swear like a sailor too it's awful my mother does not like that so we just finished putting this is kind of like the first this is the first base i just want to warm up the eyes i'm gonna go in with a smaller this is a sephora brush it's the blending eyeshadow brush it's number 71 and i'm gonna go in with just a tad it's the darker brown color it's called charmed i'm sure so it's this warm color right here i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna go right here so a lot of people are gonna have their own methods to their madness of how they apply makeup and i'm all for it i usually do my face then do my eyes and kind of tweak as i go but i i figured just in case there's fallout i've seen it and i've i've had i've witnessed it on myself where i do a full face it's absolutely st stunning okay let's calm down it's great it's a great face of makeup and then I'm doing makeup on my eyes and it just falls and it's like, Karen? No, this is just not a good time. I'm, I did my foundation. Even that I could have like just gone straight to eyes, but whatever. Guys, it's a learning process, okay? So you're just going to take that dark and you're really going to want to blend it out. Guys, blending is key. When you think you're done blending, blend for another 10 seconds. Okay, not really. I'm not actually going to count to 10 seconds. You just want to make sure it's it's really you see like that gradient effect unless you're going for a look that you want sharp lines that's cool that's allowed guys also it's makeup do whatever the hell you want okay perfect okay next so what we're gonna do here is i'm gonna go in with a flat brush that's the eye fluff brush bc465 and this is just a great overall lip brush i'm gonna take the color luscious and i'm just gonna place that on the eyelid oh, oh my god i love this color oh my god give me life give me life okay i'm gonna take just a little bit more of that dark and just kind of pop it back i don't want to lose that that i put in there i mean that's why we put it right and i'm just gonna end up blurring those lines so that's what that looks like what i'm gonna do is take my MAC 210 brush, Puree. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go one thing up. Yeah, I'm gonna do the other side. Guys, it's so annoying. I'm sure this doesn't actually matter. But when you put do stuff and you're like, oh, it's, it drives me crazy. Cause I feel like I can do without it. Then when I don't do it, I'm like, my face is not gonna look like it should. I, I can't stand looking at myself do that. <laughs> but I immediately go do it. Okay, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm all over the place. I know, I know. Guys, bear with me. This is literally the story of my life. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the eyeliner. The eyeliner I put on top is from Annabelle, okay? And it's their Precise All Day Liquid Felt Tip Eyeliner. I think it's called, I think it's called Be Curious. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it. My signature is cat eye now you can do this however you want for this look you want the cat eye because then when i do the gold underneath they're right next to each other and those two colors are together they're two primary colors they look so beautiful in contrast to each other they definitely complement each other so i'm gonna do it with the eyeliner so i'm gonna go in here like just look how vibrant that is i start in the middle and i work my way out and i go to where where my eye meets and I continue the line from there. That's my trick. I've also been doing makeup for many, many years and with a lot of fails, personal fails, because you always practice on yourself first, watching a lot of YouTube videos. I did work at Sephora for a while. So, I mean, I, but this was at like the point where I was actually good enough to put makeup on people. I'm just gonna go a little bit. I don't bring my eyeliner all the way. And for my face, here's why. The way my eyes, are their shape with their size and my face shape and this isn't like a read on myself trust me I read myself a lot it's that if I put eyeliner from here to here 
I find it closes them in, like it brings them in and it almost makes them look me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, so you see what I mean? So I don't go all the way in. And again, I'm gonna put lashes. So it's even if I bring it all the way in, you it wouldn't, it's not a big deal. It's just, I have issues. So now that I have both eyes on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with concealer because then I wanna place my gold. It's the Born This Way Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It's really great. Uh, this is a super coverage. So when I want like an everyday face, this is like a, oh my F, I have 10 minutes to get to like get ready to go to work. You, uh, yeah, it's just, this is great. You put it where you need it, you blend it out, you put your face powder, contour a little bit, mascara, maybe the eyebrows are done. No, my eyebrows are always done, I must say. And you just kind of out the door, run. So you're gonna place this right here before I go off on tangents, like I do. Put that here, over right here, put a little bit over here, here, and then here, and here. Am I beautiful? So with that, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and get right in there. So this is another trick. The beauty I learned about, as I'm using a beauty blender, why the, I realize it's the smarter method to do your eyes and then work on your concealer is that if anything does fall out, A, you clean it up. But also, if you wanted a crisper line like I do for this look in particular, is you take it and you just like clean. You clean it up. And that's, that's a really cool trick. High school me did not know that. Yeah, I wish high school me would have known these tricks because... Oh my god, if you guys want, I'll make I'll do a makeup video of how I used to do my makeup in high school. Yes, I used to watch YouTube videos and be like, she's gorgeous, she's flawless, she looks like Eva Evangelista. But it just did not it didn't translate properly. And I understood makeup, but in my brain I'm just like, foundation? Eyeliner? If you guys want, I'm gonna make a video on how I used to do my, my makeup in high school. It's going to be a super short video because I could not be bothered. I also put a lot of makeup because I had really bad acne in high school. So in my little pea brain, I'm just like, let's cover it up. Let's not take care of the problem. Let's add more foundation on top of it. I had cystic acne. So that was, uh, it was more internal. So I've, I've tried all of the, all of the fun stuff, face stuff, the proactive, the, the um, Kate Somerville, um a lot of like the heavy duty creams and and serums and strips oh it was a mess so i ended up having to go on accutane i don't know how we got here anyways we're gonna do a video i'm gonna do a video where i did my high school makeup you're welcome what i'm gonna go with next it's my airspun loose face powder out of all the powders this is a great one and it was really inexpensive and it's huge guys there's no way i'm ever gonna finish this and like i don't know if there's an expiration date I've already had it for a little bit. Probably gonna keep it for a lot longer. I don't see anything. Yeah, so I just think it's great. So while that's baking under there, I'm gonna go in with, this is my method. I just find it's a much more vibrant look and it just stays longer because if you just do eyeshadow, it's not as vibrant. But if you just do eyeliner, it could move. So what I like to do a combination of eyeliner and then you put the same powder on top of it so it, it definitely pops more and it lasts longer. I'm gonna be using the Annabelle Chrome Coal Eyeliner. This one is called, uh, it's Gold Rush. So I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna come in closer for you guys, but I really need to use this over here. So you're just, you're just lining it. And what you're doing, I don't know if you guys can see that, is I'm literally matching. I'm matching where my eyeliner is, where my blue eyeliner is. I'm going, I'm using that as my guide. You can bring it in as close as you want. I like to go halfway. Like I like to go in the middle. Okay, that's what that looks like. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna go in now um, with an eyeshadow that will match it and we'll go on top of it again to extend its life because I find eyeliner is a bit, uh, it's a bit unstable. It is gonna just start like smudging a lot faster. One of the best gold happens to be from the Naked Palette. There is one in this Naked Palette. This guy is old. Oh my God. He is one of the OG's palettes from Urban Decay and I love it. I'm gonna take a very thin brush. This one's from Sonia Kashuk in number 105. And I'm gonna go in with that half baked. I'm gonna apply it exactly where I put that eyeliner. I'm just gonna pat it on, maybe rub a little bit, but not too much because I don't want it to move. 
Oh guys, a fun fact. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I've been depriving you of your Elvis Presley fun facts. Fact number 42. Presley's years of drug abuse were first exposed in 1977 in the 1977 book, Elvis. What happened? Written by three of his former bodyguards, the singer tried to block the book's release but was unsuccessful. That's a shame. I'm gonna go right back in there and I'm just gonna put that half baked. So that is the only color from the Naked palette that I am gonna use. Before I start highlighting stuff, I gotta get these brows done because they are out of control. Somebody call their mother because they need a discipline in. How I line my eyebrows, I have found a drugstore dupe. I personally love it and it is a lot less expensive and I find you actually get more product for it. It's the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. I happen to use taupe and yeah, no, it's just, it's great. It, uh, it does exactly what it needs to do. It does not move, and I find it doesn't look cakey. I mean, if you like, then yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look like a, a wild time. But if you're gonna go in and just light lightly with a delicate hand, get in there, it, it's gonna be beautiful. So I'm gonna do one eyebrow to show you guys how I do my eyebrows really quickly, and I'm gonna do the other one. Okay, so I start off at the front, and I use um I use like a feathering flick motion. Because I, I want them to be defined, but I don't want them to look like a block. You ever seen that? And again, personal preference, you do whatever the hell you want. But this is, this I think this is a place where we can share how we feel. So I'm sharing. Whoever does their eyebrows, it's like, it's like a brick. Smack them in the face and they got a bruise of the shape of that brick. Okay, let's go with another fact. So fun fact number 53. At one point before his death, Elvis consumed an estimated 94,000 calories a day, oh my God, as almost twice as much as an elephant. That is epic. Whoa. If anyone knows anything about calories, um, the average person is supposed to consume around 2000. Now that depends your height, your gender, um, what your goal is, you wanna gain, you wanna maintain, you wanna lose, whatever it is, the average person should eat about 2000 calories a day. This guy, by the end of it, well, I mean, at the end of his, road consume 94,000 calories a day that's a lot i mean like god bless because you could just imagine the food wow that must have been a good time again i don't know if he did that because he's just like he just like reached the end of his ropes and was like you know what i don't care i don't care what happens to me anymore and sometimes people get that way it's the only food can sometimes be the only thing you can control so they're like you know what i'm just gonna eat 18 times my body weight just because I can, and it's my decision. You know, when you're in that limelight and like everything's pretty much decided for you, you can't say this, you can't wear that, you can't go here, you can't. There was a lot of times where he was banned, and I, I know this. Um, my father grew up during the time where Elvis was a really big thing. So he would tell me stories of how um, there would be times where Elvis couldn't even go sing to certain places because, you know, he was considered a sex symbol. And sex nowadays is it just exploited like it's nothing nowadays but back then it was like uh, you look at elvis's hips move and it's like i'm pregnant yeah so people you know they they even banned him so there'd be things you can't do this you can't play there you can't say that so i my theory is that he just ate his feelings at the end just because it was anything he could control eyebrows are sisters they're not twins well they're gonna be twins today janice i'm going to take out that powder from underneath my face with the same brush that I applied it with. What I go in for my bronzer with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, I personally find it beautiful preference. So I'm just gonna take a super fluffy generic brush. I got these brushes I when I went to makeup school and it's, it's a great brush, it's just the name rubbed off. So I'm just gonna take that and the color I use is medium deep and I kind of just go all over I don't cream contour, why? I don't like the way it looks on me. I have combination skin and that combination is no two the same from day one to day two. I can have, usually you have oily T-zone and dry cheeks. That's what happens sometimes. What happens other times is the whole face is oily, the whole face is dry, the whole face is just saying, F you today, we're not gonna work. Okay, just go in with the powder and I find it, it sits nicely. I spray after, you know, just to give me that dewy look and for everything to kind of settle it. But I use the powder, just it sits nicer on my skin. I bring her down to my neck. 
because I was not graced with the ability to tan. Spray tans don't look good on me. I tried it again this summer just because I, you know, everyone had the staycation, right? Because of the whole coronavirus thing. Um, so I'm like, oh yeah, okay, perfect. I, you know, who's gonna look tan? No one, because no one would have gone anywhere. Everyone looked tan. And I don't know if it was spray tan or at home tan or sitting in your backyard for 18 hours a day. I don't know what it was, but everyone looked beautiful and I looked like a sheet of paper. So I'm like, let's try spray tanning. And I asked my mom to drive me because my car at the time, the AC broke. I'm like, okay, with the spray tanning, I, it was my second time going and I'm like, okay, mom, I, it's hot. I'm gonna melt if I come in my car spray tanned without an AC on. So I asked my mom to drive me because <clears throat> her car had AC. And when we got there, perfectly fine, cool, no problem. I'm just gonna sink myself to, to my face. No problem, cool, yeah, hey, it's nice. Not a cloud in the sky. I come out, rain. So if anyone knows anything about spray tanning, guys, I am so sorry for that noise in the background. I'm gonna keep apologizing. It's my character and I'm Canadian. So I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so anyways, if anyone knows anything about spray tanning is that you can't, you, you, you can't just like spray tan and go shower. You have to wait the eight hours for it to actually like sink in then you shower the next day. Or if you get it done during the day, wait eight hours, then you shower at night, whatever it is. I came out pouring rain like this cloud was just like not a good time so i ran in the car and i had just rain all over me and the spray tan was just like splotching and i'm like oh my god on the way home i'm like no my mom was laughing of course my mom doesn't do any of this like spray tanning or like she's so low maintenance so she's just like what's the big deal i'm like i just paid money for this yeah it was just really funny and so what i ended up doing is this is actually oh fun trick what i did because it was splotching and even with my hands just going i'm like oh no it's not coming off like i just spent money on a botched spray tan i just go shower this that so i took a kabuki brush a really dense brush and i sprayed it with mario badescu i just sprayed it lightly and i went in and i buffed I buffed it enough that it like it kind of all meshed together now i had it on my shoulders on my forearm down my legs uh, i was just like splotchy everywhere so the places i couldn't reach i'm like Ma. so she just helped me buff it out and guys it worked you just buff it out patience patience and pray and it just it worked all all that to say is that in the end spray tans don't look that great on me yeah so that's my tanning story so that's why I think that's how we got here is why I bring the foundation and the powder down to my neck. So if anyone has ever tried the Kylie uh, bronzer, this one is the pressed bronzing powder. Uh, this one happens to be toasty. I like it. I like it because it, it can go off soup, go on subtly and then you just build and build and build. I dabble between this one and the MAC bronzer. I've had it for so long. The name is completely wiped off. Like if you guys know what this is, that's cool. I i had it for so long i'm gonna go in with an angled brush i just bought this urban studio brush and it is the angled contour brush and i got this at winners oh it's so soft and i love winners because i've i bought i've purchased my real technique brushes there i've purchased um oh my god i've recently purchased um i think it's a it's a collab with Alyssa edwards and anastavia beverly hills and does it have a name I, I think it's just the only palette with it's the only palette that has that collaboration with the two one of my favorite quotes because i watched rupaul's drag race religiously watched it all watched it again watched it one more time love it so much and Alyssa edwards is one of my favorite one of my favorites i have a good chunk of girls that are just these queens just make me so happy whether if they're if you're a funny queen you immediately have my heart but then there are some that they're just I don't know they just have something about them that is just like so one of the, one of my favorite quotes from her from melissa edwards is i don't get cute i get drop dead gorgeous when i heard that i just like dropped the converter i thought that was so funny and such a great quote so sassy so i'm gonna go with my kylie this is in the color toasty so you just get that all up in there tap tap and you could just start contouring if you if you know how to cream contour or with just a darker foundation or whatever oh my god go for it i think that's excellent oh my god elvis presley fun fact okay oh oh that's funny okay so here's a funny one 
During one of Elvis's appearance on his show, TV host Ed Sullivan noticed a bulge in his singer in the singer's crotch and wondered aloud if Presley had stuffed his pants with a soda bottle. And it says, no, Ed. He was just really glad to be there. That's funny. I think that's funny. I'm bringing it underneath here too. Again, what you want to put back, you contour. What you want to bring out, you highlight. I'm going to go in and put my eyelashes on and I'll be right back. All right, here's another fact. One year, Elvis Presley paid 91% of his annual income to the IRS. Oof, I wonder why. Okay, so I'm gonna go in again with that Free Spirit Eyeliner. I'm just gonna line on top. Sorry, let me get you in there. Let's do another fun fact. All right. Actress Sybil Shepherd dated Elvis in the early 1970s and hinted on The Oprah Winfrey Show that she had to teach the singer how to perform cunnilingus. Oh. Oh, I should have proof checked these. That's inappropriate. Damn, Sybil. What I'm going to do for highlight, I love highlight, guys. Oh my God. I'm going to go in with the nectar and you're just going to place that on the brow bone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. On the other brow bone. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to pop that in right, right there. So what I'm going to do with that same 227 brush that I used to put highlighter underneath my brow bone, I'm going to take a little bit and put it on the apples of my cheek. Oh yeah. Oh my God. So versatile. Oh yeah. Just a little bit over there. Yeah. And on the cue has a bow. For today's look, I'm not going to do a lip. Don't come for me. I'm only going to go in with a little bit of lip gloss it's actually the laneige leaps lip sleeping mask you put it at night and it's kind of it's a mask for your lips but i oh my god first of all this smell it's like bubble gum it's just such a great lip mask i use it all the time and it's so hydrating especially that it's starting to get colder it's nice to have it hydrating you also during the day but if you wanted to let's say put a, a lip liner and a bit of a lipstick just something super like dab it on quickly you could do that and put this on top i'm going to finish off with a bit of mascara just to blend it in with those lashes that i put on guys i'm i'm telling you mascara oh it's just so oh i love it oh my god this is a telescopic from l'oreal it's my absolute favorite it's a thin wand so you can really get in there i'm going to put something on my bottom lashes and that is it for today, you guys. I washed my hair yesterday. I blow dried it. Because I'm like, yeah, be an adult. Know how to do your hair. Go for some highlights. That's it, guys. Thank you for spending this time with me. Uh, this is my first video. Let me know how I did. I always want to make sure that this, uh, these videos are entertaining for you guys. Obviously, you're spending time with me, and I really appreciate that. Leave suggestions or comments in the comment section below. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe. Uh, and hit that bell button so next time I post the video, you get a notification. If you guys like that we do some random fun facts, I will continue to do them in my video. I find facts so really fun. Like, they are fun facts. Maybe because I was a bit awkward growing up, so it's just like... Fun fact, and then you just whip out this fact, and it could either be like, Oh, cool, or people could be like, Oh, you're that person. Okay, mm yeah. It was nice chatting with you guys. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe. Speak soon. Bye.